it's February. <laughs> my name is coming. You're going to be hearing a lot of who be if ma if ma don't like you like me. <laughs> Anytime I hear that song, I think that is two cheating people. Is it cheats or cheaters? I think that it's two cheating people that are having a conversation, very civil conversation. Who be Ifoma, who be Teola, who is Besen, who is Niba, you know? And that's how cheats should discuss. They think it's not to be very violent all the time. I mean, sticks and, and bones don't, and phones don't have to get into it. Hmm, see the way I rhyme that thing. <laughs> Welcome to my show. <laughs> welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here where you've been i'm like the best part of your life <laughs> oh welcome welcome to you i hope you subscribe by the end of this last week we said subscribe right now i don't mind last week we <laughs> we said we were going to do something about valentine's this week so officially valentine's day is next week but this is like the prelude you know the the avangu into valentine's day and this week we are talking about the worst Valentine's Day experiences ever. I put it out on my WhatsApp status actually, like, and I reached out to friends privately to ask what their worst Valentine's Day experience has been, and the responses are amazing. You want to find out what they had to say. I have more written down in my YouTube planner. Yeah, that's right. I'm a girl that writes everything down. How cool is this book? This is like the best thing I've bought since the beginning of 2020. This is so cool. I call it my jazz book. It's nice, right? If you want something like this, you'd have to comment down below and then we get private and I give you her number because I can't really give you her number in the description box. You know the rules to this thing. Oh, wait. Something fell. Just a minute. Ugh. This thing's. If you're in many, you've probably been offered this 20 times in your life. What kind of company always has work? This company always has job opportunities. What exactly are they doing? Saving souls? They should rather give this ink and paper to people that are doing evangelism. It would be better, way better used. And you know, they always have to come along with the track. CEO is never among the jobs, the same jobs all the time. Director Samba, Director Jusien. <laughs> I love this nurse. <laughs> All right, so let's start right away with the reactions. Should we have a minute of silence first? Because I feel like the way the responses are serious, like we need to have a minute of silence. Should be All right. No, let's 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 just do it. Let's just do it. Like Nike. <laughs> okay, so the first reaction is from Abel. Abel says, "My worst Valentine's Day experience is walking through a graveyard at 1:30 a.m. without being afraid." Don't we all know that? Only because I will leave gay. Laughing emoji. Women can really give guys courage. <laughs> 1.30 a.m. Brave yard. Hey. Second response is from Lisa. Since I got into the university, Val's Day has never existed for me. Oh, Asha. And this year is going to be the same. I don't really suffer. <laughs> I always begin the year single. Or I have a problem with my boyfriend. <laughs> Val's Day is actively avoiding you. <laughs> On to the next one. Are you well seated? I hope you got something else apart from popcorn, like strong drink, because this is good. <laughs> okay, Sylvia. This is from Sharon. Sylvia, this guy I was dating told me he won't be able to spend time with me on Val's Day because he was going to be taking care of his sick cousin. Huh? Cousins. The sick cousin's mom was supposed to come from Lobby the following day. So after school, I got sugar balls and yogurt like the good girlfriend I was and headed over to this cousin's house. On getting there, she was going out. Looked like she was headed for a date. I told her what her cousin said and she said maybe he was just trying to surprise me because because she knows he got me a pair of high shoes. She even asked for pics when I tried them on. I went home so happy and felt so special. He came back and spent the night at my place. <laughs> there was a name for those boys back in the days. No words. The next morning, all the statements are making have shoes in them, but the guy is mute. I broke the silence and told him to give me the shoes because I could no longer hold it in. He said he had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> you see why we needed a moment of silence? Mm -hmm. A little while later, he goes to the bath and I checked his phone and I saw a message from a certain Benita. It read, oh, quote open, the shoes are lovely. I love you so much, baby. Benita. And it rhymes with Felicia. 
when he came out i asked him and he refused point blank i flung his shoes downstairs and poured water on him and i threw him out of my house and locked my room he stayed there wet until his friends brought him clothes boys are fake men are scum <laughs> Next one is from Peter. Back then, the opposite, I bought a gift for my crush and she rejected it. Oh, it was a watch and a card. She didn't like me. She was just my crush. Ah, don't we all know that? That there used to be some girls that loved rejecting things and then you have points. You have just ah. Next one is from Nalela. Can you imagine a boy would buy me margarine for Valentine's Day? We were in form four. He told me to always put it in my bread. I hid it and told my friends that my gift was in his house and I would get it during the holidays. I could not bear the embarrassment. Up until today, I sometimes call him Rosa. <laughs> Margarine in bucket. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, Dix? <laughs> Why would you give a girl Margarine? Why? I mean, I can imagine, if you give a girl Margarine, I can imagine the other options on that list tissue sponge like why would you give a girl margarine i don't know this is this is that, that's a strange dude yep. this next one is from emily his surprise was nicer than mine and i was sure i killed it <laughs> okay let's find out what happened we spent all afternoon together and i wasn't expecting anything at all and i didn't buy him anything i simply cooked which is normally supposed to be a big deal we walked, he, in the evening he said we should take some air. We walked from my street to his and then he suggested we pop in and say hello to his friends. We did that and there was a bag on the table. He said that bag is yours, you can open it. <laughs> the, the way we are waiting for that type of statement. <clears throat> I opened it and there were a couple of nice things inside with a customized frame. Oh, that was in front of his friends. Happy emoji. We're, we were barely a week old but he still managed to get me something. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Our last worst experience for today <laughs> is from Ibana. I was dating this guy. I had heard rumors that he was a cheat, but I thought I was the main chick. Hmm. That story. On Val's day, he posted pics on Facebook with some girl. When I got to his friends, I was made to understand that that was the real madam and I was the side chick. <laughs> we broke up and I blocked him. Four years later, I accompanied my fiance to a wedding of his second cousin and behold, she's marrying that guy. The guy even saw me and joked that we will meet in the family meeting. <laughs> I really hope he has stopped cheating because he's so good at it. We definitely have to follow that up. Oh my god, this could be the biggest unravel. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe. Let every other person you know subscribe. <laughs> share the link of this video on your WhatsApp status and your Facebook story. Share with friends. Share it everywhere so that we can and bring back the comments they make about their worst experiences so that we can just have a conversation and we can laugh about it together. The conversation never has to end. I had my own worst day, worst experience naturally <laughs> and i shared it on my blog please read let me know what you think i'm going to uh, put the link in the description box so that you can see the story and read it and let's just have the conversation let the conversation continue let us know what your worst experience was let's laugh about it together because this terrible experiences that's where the real lessons are buried right that's where you actually learn to suck it up <laughs> i really hope that valentine day meets you in a really lovely place in case you're heartbroken i'm so sorry and i wish you find happiness again with him or with her whoever comes next for you and if you're one of those partners that says i don't do valentine's day valentine's day is every day valentine's day is not every day valentine's day is 14th of february get that plan and make sure that you give your loved one a special day a lot of people are dying. Life is so short. It's very important to let your loved ones know that you love and support them by making the best memories possible with them while we're all still here, right? Okay, this is getting sad. <laughs> Please subscribe and I'm going to see you next week. Until then, let me know your plans for Valentine's Day. I am going to be drinking a lot of red wine. I've gotten the wine. Now I just need the company. <laughs> I know exactly who I'm going to drink it with next week. I'll see you later. Bye. Subscribe.